I was gone for such a long period of time. It feels so weird to be at all again. We were gone now for like two hours straight. I've never done that. It's in oh, it's in the Archeozoic Chasm. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to get somewhere. Wait. This is the wrong way. You gotta go down. Get some good progress, though. I think next stream, we might, if we don't have time to do the raid today, we'll probably start with that raid, and then we'll probably just continue the main story, to be honest. I think we'll do the raid and then continue the main story, and we'll kind of wait until, like, a point of no return, because, again... Even if I don't think the Saren Garden's a point of no return, I do kind of think that the Saren Garden's gonna be like a bunch of cutscenes. And after a bunch of cutscenes, I do think it's gonna be like Final Dungeon ending. All right, let's clean but I'll go to the Saren Garden next stream and we'll see if that's the case. Because we did basically Thanks, all the everyone. side content. There's not too much left to do other than fishing, but you know, we only need like five or six fish left and we'll get it done eventually. There is this question mark here. I, I still don't know how to get there. But I'll worry about that later. I want to see what this is. This obstruction. Yeah, we are basically done. And I know there's a post game. I do want to. I'm not gonna promise doing the post game, but like I'm gonna see what the post game's about. I think it's just a dungeon and a raid for the post game, so I will do the post game, or at least check it out. So uh, essentially, we are 100% in the game. I don't want to say 100%ing because that can also people will think like, oh, you're gonna get every single chest in the game. Like we're we're doing all the content, which is my definition of 100%. This game was just that good. I loved it. Love it. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm loving it. We are nearly done, though. I do think no more than three streams after this. I'm going to say two to three. I said three to four last time, I think, so maybe now I'll say two to three. We, we are still like two ish, two and a half weeks away from Elysium, so I got. That's good. I really just need to have this game done before Elysium. Especially with Stories 2, I don't have the space. After sending Lil Pero, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. Ooh, this is like a special... thing. Looks like we're all here. Gotta say, feels like, feels like we've become one big family overnight. Almost overnight. Great thing to see. <laughs> the bond we share is quite strong, indeed. Yes, <laughs> Hard to believe there were so few of us at first. His gravel, gravel is more compact than it looks. Good thing I brought this heavy-duty shovel for such an occasion. Let's take it for a spin. This will be excellent training. It's going to be tough if any speedy primordials suddenly show up. I think Rakoda and Reja should keep an eye out for any. No problem, leave it to us. That goes for you too, Kina. If anyone gets thirsty, let me know. I'm having a great flash sale on fruit juice while supplies last. <laughs> With so many people, we should finish this in about two hours. That means we'll finish around noon, just in time for lunch. By the way, it's four hours. Don't get me wrong, I'm hungry, but I can last another hour, so. I did say my hunger would determine stream time, but I can last another 50 minutes. That means we'll finish around noon, just in time for lunch. Everyone's so helpful. Just leave it to me. Alright, everyone, time to get to work. That was some nice dialogue. So, the castaway's been gang clearing the densely packed pile of heavy gravel. With the wind and rain helping to loosen the pile, they managed to clear it in no time flat. I wonder what's behind here. Probably a dungeon? What else could be here? The gravel was clear thanks to everyone's help. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it is a dungeon! <laughs> Silent Tower. Alright. 
Uh, Loxia. We have Homo too. 71? Uh, cool? Oh my word, these are level 71. That's gonna be interesting. It's not gonna stop me from going through this place. <laughs> I've dealt with higher level enemies. Am I a nightmare still? Get me off nightmare. No way in crap I'm playing Nightmare if um they're high enough level. Oh, well, that just means faster level ups, I guess, which is nice. The thing is, I'm sure the final dungeon is gonna count as exploration, so I'm not expecting prominent shot. Cool. Honestly, take guilty raid. I'm not expecting. I'm expecting the final dungeon to have exploration, so we'll kind of see. How's that? But I don't think we're gonna be at 100% before, like, from all this, but... I'll make sure we're at 100% before, like, fighting the final boss. And kind of the same thing for the fish. Like, I can hold off on the fish. The main thing is the side content, which we tackled a lot. Oh, Arietta, what's up? Welcome to stream. We are at the end of... Not really the end of stream. You got, like, you got, like 45 minutes left. Good to see ya. I know Chaos was playing Xenoblade, that's why you're late, which is acceptable, because, you know, Xenoblade 3 is a good game. Plus, we only did side content, so no main story. Honestly, if there was a stream to miss, it's good that it was main story. Or, no, it's good that it was side quests. You are a smash. Interesting. Stop this. Get Dino Throat! You're gonna get insane level up from all this. Now, I am curious about something. Sylvia is still at approval level one. I don't know if we're like done with side quests if we're gonna add another batch or not, because I think some characters are still at level one approval. Sylvia? Franz, we did a quest for. He has a probably a gift to give him. I don't know if we gave him a gift. I can't remember. But Sylvia is still at level one approval. We done like nothing with Sylvia as far as approval goes. You know, I don't know. We'll, we'll move on the game. I don't think Saren Garden is the point. It can't be a point of no return. It's gonna be a lot of story stuff and like towards the end. But I'm not gonna worry about that now. The important thing is we did a lot today. So we'll have to get Kathleen's quest done, but we'll do that. Hey, Dino Throw. Finally. And the six level 74 took so long to break. You can really tell. Alright, we're not gonna be finding many of these. They take too long. How lucky. That's what you get. Ooh, Dragon Crest Stone is what I need to make stuff, right? Uh upgrade weapons. Side stuff is interesting, but dude, main story is amazing. The story in this game is great. This game's exploration is really good. I I said it a few times, but I'm at the end, so I'm gonna say it again. Definitely, I love exploring this game. It's quite dilapidated. What is the purpose of this tower? There should be a workshop that royals used to take care of in this neighborhood. This game's story. Actually, wait. I'm gonna wait till I'm almost done. This game's story is great. Again, the characters are good enough. They're not. Ease Nine does the cast better. Like, I'm not even gonna hide that. Ease Nine doesn't cast better. But this game's characters are fine. The thing is, um, this game hard focuses on Donna. It's very focused on Donna, and Donna's a really good character. 
but it doesn't do enough with the other characters, but like, specifically Hummel, I feel like Hummel just gets the short end of the stick. But like, Rakoda and Loxia, they're like fine. They're like good enough. And the castaways, I wish got a little more, but they're like, their idea of like, you know, banding together to get off the asylum is really neat. So what they represent is cool. That wishes characters they got a little more. Either way, the characters are good enough to keep the story interesting, you know? Donna specifically, because Donna's like the main focus. Donna's an amazing character. The others are just like either good to I, I don't really think Retreat! Let's go! You know. It be that way sometimes. I'm really hard to break you. Yeah, I know we have to get the Orichalcum. I just said we're gonna do it. <laughs> we're gonna do Kathleen's quest. I just wanna explore this quest. I did say the obstructions were high on my list. We are going to get the Orichalcum. That move is interesting. Uh, uh, Dakota. Yeah. These guys are like 70, so I'm expecting to die a lot. Hey, Spiral Drive. Die. Thrust Storm. Rakoda, they're already dead. My turn now. <laughs> He's not gave each character a character arc, which is which I I wish they did with this game. Yeah, I agree. I see what this game was trying to do. It was clearly supposed to be about the mystery of the island. They did that really well. I'm just a very character-driven person. So it's not really easy to fault. The characters are good enough. But as a character-driven focus, like, I love character-driven narratives. As someone who likes character-driven stuff, it's unfortunate yeah. that they didn't do that. But not by any means a deal-breaker. Just a little unfortunate. I'm much more a fan of characters getting their own arcs. And this game, it kind of felt like they were on the right track at first. Like, I think, like... It felt like Loxia was gonna get, um, her own arc. Like, in the very- like, she had a little thing of, like, she was, a uh, unlikable Cinderella and then she became likable, but they never really did anything with that. Other than that, it was just like, oh yeah, Loxia's a lot more likable now, and that's kind of it. And the characters definitely have, like, personality. I think the problem is, they just don't have enough, like, focus. The game doesn't focus on them enough. It hard focuses Donna. It does that really well, don't get me wrong. But it does suck that you don't really get as much focus on the other characters sometimes. You really just get a dose of, like, them as a group, but that's it. I would like more focus on them as people, like, them on their own. But, you know, it'd be that way. Hummel is, like, the worst defender of this, because I feel like Hummel hardly gets any screen time, which is unfortunate, because Hummel seems like a cool dude. Other than him being a transporter and, like, you know, never failing to deliver a package, like, there's nothing about Hummel that the game gives you, which is really unfortunate. So, you know. I think the characters could have been done better, but they aren't, like, terrible. Everything else in the game is so so. Characters are good enough. They're just not great. With the exclusion of Donna. Donna is amazing. Her character arc is nice. Ease 9's characters? Oh my word. Ease 9's characters are so good. Ease 9 did great with its characters. They could have done a little better with Yufa. But even then, Yufa got her own arc. At least Yufa got her own arc. But Yufa is definitely the character that has the least amount of attention given. But she definitely had an arc. Which is better than any of the characters in this game. Hardly any of them. Most of them don't even get arcs. 
Sahad and Hummel mostly. Rakoda kind of does because they use her like they use Rakoda well at like oh she hasn't been off the island. They use her like curiosity as a really nice uh a nice kind of thing. But Hummel and Sahad, even a little bit of Loxia late game, hardly any. And it, it's unfortunate. And I'll go more into it with the credits, where I, how I feel about the whole group. I do like the castaway system, though. I really like... I don't really care for the castaways as people, but they're, they're fine. They're just good. They're fine, the castaways. They could have been fleshed out more, but they're fine. And I think I like the idea of being on an island and trying to escape together, working together, making a village, and just them as people and their one big family. Could they have been better? Yeah. But I like it. I still think it was done good enough. Dino. That's mostly my opinions on the cast. So long to break you. Yeah. yeah, story in this game, better than these nine. Gameplay's basically the same. If you put a gun to my head, I would say nine mostly because of the gifts. But the gifts don't really the gifts don't make this game like inferior. This game is still fun, even without the gifts. But if you put a gun in my head, I would say E's 9 by a small margin, just because of the gifts. Other than that, though, they're basically the same. So. Honestly, with soundtrack, I think E's A has a better soundtrack. E's 9 had a good soundtrack, don't get me wrong, but playing, like, ever since I finished E's 9, I, I remember, like, retract from that game but i feel like with this game the music is just a lot more memorable so i do think this game is a better os as well the environment no contest is this game as well nine did balduke well enough but that's something nine could have done better nine could have done more diverse locations better but you know it had better characters so it made that trade-off but the environments in this game are just so good This is basically a Baja Tower knockoff, huh? On guard. This is this move I got with Loxia? Ooh, dude, that's so good! I like Loxia. I like playing as her. I haven't heard my favorite track as well. I don't even think I have a favorite track, but there's so many tracks in this game, I could see myself coming back to this Oast. And again, Ease Nines, I feel like Ease Nines, if I listened to it, it'd be good. But ever since I finished the game, I remember like three tracks that I really love from Ease Nine. Evan Maka being one of them. But other than that, Ease Nine as a whole, compared to Ease 8, it's still Falcom game music. It's still the composer. I don't know who the composer who does these games are a treasure chest it's still the same composer but all around he did better in what is that they didn't give me a crystal so i'm actually gonna do this um all around i think ease eight just has more memorable tracks and good tracks but that that's not to put a knock on nine What on earth is that? Like, I mean, ooh, Sorry and Carapace. I needed that, didn't I? That's like a mini boss or something? What's going on there? Explore this area first. 